Tropic, how to use the system. Configuring the device. Turn on the device by pressing the power key on the keypad for five seconds. Set the time and date using the control keys and pressing the OK key. Choose the appropriate language using the control keys and pressing the OK key. The main interface of the device contains the icon for audio electromagnetic EFM systems and the device settings icon. First, general settings. Choose the device settings to configure. Click the display option to control the screen brightness and sleep timer using the arrow keys. Click the sound option to control the device's sound and enable or disable the vibration using the arrow keys. You can factory reset by clicking on the reset option. You can also click on the about option to find out the technical information about the device. By pressing the back key, the device returns to the main interface. You can also access the device settings by pressing the gear key on the left side of the keyboard. EFM system settings. Click on EFM systems. To automatically calibrate the device, press the handle button and raise the coil 35 centimeters above the ground after hearing the first tone. After hearing the second tone, hold the coil 10 centimeters above the ground. The device may require a repeat of the process several times before a green check mark over the coil on the interface. To perform a manual calibration, which is recommended to expert users due to the accuracy of its results, we recommend following these steps. Enter the EFM systems and choose the settings. The calibration screen will appear with the main indicator below the coil picture with arrows to the right and left. Use the arrows to achieve ground balance and eliminate unwanted metal results. If the main indicator swings by large values, use the arrows to increase or decrease the number on the interface until the indicator moves very short distances or remains stationary. For adjusting the sensitivity, Sensitivity is usually configured according to the soil type in the search area. Sensitivity can be adjusted using the right and left arrow keys to increase or decrease. It is also possible to activate the turbo option by pressing the confirmation key, enabling greater search capabilities. Iron cancel. It is activated or deactivated by pressing the right or left arrow key. When this option is activated, the device ignores the iron elements in the soil. Tones. If the mode is activated, the number 2 will be shown, and a tone will be assigned to ferrous targets, and another tone will be assigned to the non-ferrous targets. While disabling this option shows the number 1 on the interface, and one tone is assigned to all detected targets. This way, you have completed the manual calibration. Quick Scan Search System. After configuring the EFM settings, go to the system's interface by pressing the OK key or by using the back key. Quick Scan System. This system performs the search process faster than other systems, giving the device intermittent audio signals when a specific target is reached. The right of the search interface shows the type of metal, and in the middle is the identification number, indicating the identity of the metal. If the identification number is in red, the metal is non-precious, and if it is yellow, it is precious. Search method. Hold the device so that the height of the search coil is 5 cm to 10 cm above the ground. Move straight at a medium and constant pace, and swing the coil right and left while maintaining the coil parallel to the ground surface. When the handle switch is pressed, a quick ground balance is performed and the target evaluation process is repeated when a new target is detected. When the OK key is pressed, the precise scanning in this system is activated. An indicator appears to accurately determine the location of the target to avoid any incorrect digging operation. 
Maintain the height of the coil from 5 to 10 centimeters above the ground and notice the increase in signal strength and intensity of sound and vibration as the center of the coil approaches the target. This way, the location of the target can be determined with extreme accuracy and there is no discrimination of targets here. Discrimination system. It is recommended to use this system when a target is discovered and you want to know its value. This system distinguishes target audio through the numerical value of the target type. Two indicators appear in the interface of this system, indicating the type, size and distance of the target. A large predictor in blue indicates precious metals and a small indicator in yellow indicates non-precious metals. At the bottom of the interface, a two-dimensional graph appears in white. It indicates the presence of a precious target when it is positive above the line and non-precious when it appears in the negative place below the line. In the middle of the interface, a large number appears, which is the identification number that indicates the identity of the detected target. It appears in yellow when the metal is precious and the name of the metal appears under this number. Search methods. Hold the device with the coil raised 5 to 10 centimeters and parallel to the ground. Step in continuous medium pace steps forward or backward while maintaining the orientation of the device and without any rotation or movement to the right or left. When a target is detected, the device will give a continuous audio signal with vibration if the vibration mode is activated. The strength of the signal and the intensity of the sound increase when approaching the target and the numerical values of the target appear. Graph systems. This system is used to determine the shape of the target and its density, depth or size through a two-dimensional drawing as follows. A precious target. The shape of the signal is positive at the top and green. The height indicates a larger, closer or high density target. Ferrous target, non-precious. The shape of the signal is negative in the lower part and red. The height indicates a larger, closer or higher density target. Search methods. Select the search system from the main menu. The interface designated for this system will appear. Hold the device with the coil raised 5 to 10 centimeters and parallel to the ground. Walk in continuous moderate pace steps forward or backward, maintaining the coil height without any movement to the right or left. When a target is detected, the device gives continuous audio signals with vibration if it is activated. The signal strength, sound intensity and vibration increase as the target is approached.